hello guys uh, welcome to my channel this tutorial we will see uh, how to import a global human settlement uh, layer or data set on google earth uh, engine and visualize uh, built up area for different years so uh, as you uh, can see uh, just you can import different data set from uh, Googlers engine data repository uh, from this uh, global human settlement or built up area which is extracted for uh, 1975 to 2040 from Landsat satellite image is available so you can import uh, already classified image or uh, a map that shows uh, human settlement or built up area for uh, entire world so uh, to get the definition or some uh, information about the data you can just search uh, Google, global human settlement on this search uh, tab so this is the data set uh, information so the ghls or global human settlement layer relies on the design and implementation of new spatial data mining technology allowing to automatically process and extract analytics and knowledge from large amount of heterogeneous data including global fine scale satellite image data streams census data and crowd sources or volunteer uh, geographic resources so it is extracted from uh, landsat 8 collection to 2040 and or uh, the first uh, landsat image so the data is available from 1975 01 01 to uh, 2040 12 uh, 31 so the data provider is uh, here and also uh, you have uh, for more information you can visit this link uh, to read about the data set and uh, to import this image or this layer to your google uh, earth engine uh, code editor you can just copy this or you can just uh, use this import button to add uh, to your uh, code editor so here i have uh, added the image or importing the data set so it's, uh, this link will add or import uh, the data set to this uh, code editor so next i need to uh, add for a specific year which is 2040 so i have to uh, filter this image or layer by a date to uh, filter it by using uh, for only 2040 you can use this code <coughs> then uh, you have to write visualization uh, visualization mm, parameters so here uh, you have to write some code uh, visible parameters minimum value uh, 0 to maximum value 255 you can use less or uh, much more numbers here and the other one is uh, the plates so this can be obtained from the data set or from the property of the data another one is to fix the map center to view the image and uh, you have to specify uh, the map layer name uh, that to be added in this uh, map layer so uh, this simple code will add the global human settlement layer from the depository to your code editor so if you want to print uh, this uh, so once you have written all your code you can just try running the data yeah so it will automatically uh, add your data layer to your uh, code data so
So this is the layer which is built up area for 2014 for around this for example this is Addis Ababa and this shows the built up coverage for this specific area in year 2014. You can minimize opacity and cross check with uh, the urbanization grows with the current uh, urban uh, coverage or urban lands. These are uh, the expansion of urban area for this specific uh, location. As you can see, the build up area for year 2040 is uh, smaller than the current uh, built up area. So you can analyze how much uh, land is changed to built up area by just using this already uh, prepared or classified uh, built up area from this global human settlement image layer in Google Earth. So you can prepare uh, land use land cover of your current uh, area and uh, you can just take the difference between the two years in order to determine that the change happened between these two uh, decades. So you can just uh, export your image by adding your own uh, <coughs> shape file and you can do further analysis on the data. So uh, this is all about my today's uh, tutorial. So we will see in next video. Thank you for your time.